Okay, so Troy, you hit on a very uh, important statement about the demasculation. They, they demasculated the black man. It mm. took them 25 years, but they did it. Mm. They wanted to make sure we weren't able to reproduce. Mm. So what they do? Demasculated us. They... <laughs> They can't even identify. They can't even tell you what a woman is. Mm. What kind of shit? What is? What is? What do you mean? What is a woman? You know? They can't tell you what a woman. They can't is. explain. It. Uh, they, they asked the secretary. What they asked? Can you find a woman? Yeah, for me? yeah, yeah. She I remember said, that. No, I can't at this time. <laughs> well, what? Wait a minute, no. And you tell her look in the mirror. I thought she was okay. Yeah. You got. You teaching our kids about being transsexual? And wait a minute, hold. That's let them choose on their own. Don't put none of the ideas in their head. Mm. Let them. Let the parents. That's what. That's what parenting is all about. But you want to take the parents and everything out of it. Mm. So what? You got control of our children at a younger age mm. now. Not age. It used to be they 13, 14, 15, and y'all get control of them. Now it's like seven, eight, mm. nine, or even younger. They, 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 the demasculation of, of the black man was one of the biggest blows to our people that, because by them doing that, it made the black woman disrespected. It made the, the kids disrespected. You know, so we lost all respect. We didn't have none already. Mm. So we lost all respect from, from every corner because you want to wear a dress. Mm. Okay, if you want to wear a dress, you want a sword fight, don't involve our kids in that. Don't even let them in. That's not, they, that, they should be thinking about a cartoon. They shouldn't even be thinking about no sexual orientations. Mm. And they want to teach a school union. That's another problem. Mm. That's another big, big problem. Because how they separate into districts are about the richest districts in LA. Mm -hmm. That's keeping education from coming to where it really needs the most. White kids, they authorize you on their, on their parents' cars from the time they're born. Mm. They don't even know it. Mm. That way, by the time they 15, 16, they have aged credit. Mm. See how it works? Mm -hmm. That's how they in high school, see they got credit cards and everything else. They learn about debt to income ratios. And you know what I'm saying, man? With, when we, all we know is we gonna go buy this, go buy that. They gonna buy this and buy that. Which, but that's not how it's done. You ever trip on how white people see some niggas move in the neighborhood and they go on the next month? How they able to do that? They're not tied to nothing physically. But the illusion is they bought this, they bought that, they bought that. No, they didn't. They put the shit on auto pay and pay their notes. Mm. That way, if you see some niggas move in the neighborhood, oh, they could be, oh, we go on next month. That's why they're able to just walk away from everything like that. Because they're not tied to nothing. Everything, they, white people ain't paid for nothing. They put it on auto play and pay their monthly. The U.S. debt, they ain't, you know the last time the U.S. debt was paid? Mm -mm. 1864, <laughs> so something like that. The last time the United States paid their debt down to zero, it was like the 1800 something. So what'd that tell you? They ain't paying no debts. Mm. That's not what they do. That's, 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 that's not what they do. Man. Mm. The Federal Reserve System is designed with poverty, homelessness. All that's designed inside of it. It's more. It's kind of like musical chairs. When the music stops, somebody ain't gonna have a seat. Mm. That's the Federal Reserve System. That's how it works. When the music stops, 
Nigga, somebody ain't gonna have no seat. Mm -hmm. We as a people don't know. And it's, and it's part of our education system that we don't know about finances and metrics. Metrics shouldn't be a college curriculum. It should be like right before algebra two or something like sixth, seventh grade. But they don't teach metrics in school. Why? Because then they're able to tell you shit like the coronavirus was up 157% last eight days. You see? But by, you, by the people not knowing metrics, they don't ask the simple question. Now, wait a minute. You got a thousand new centers. You got a thousand new testing centers. That means you're testing more people. Of course the number gonna go up. Why? Because you're testing more goddamn people, that's why. Yeah. The metrics. You see what I'm saying, me? But by that being a college curriculum, the masses don't they don't, they aren't able to see. I don't even like to call it a lie no more, because it ain't a lie. They're unable to see the alternative facts. Alternative facts. <laughs> <laughs> they don't see the alternative facts. Why? Because they never learned simple shit like metrics, mm. study of statistics. Mm. They so you're able to say how the coronavirus rate is going up, going up. Yeah, but you got a million more testing centers, so of course it's gonna go. Because why are you testing more people? Mm. Alternative fact. Mm. It's, a, it's true, but it's not. Mm. See how that works? Yeah, yeah. That's how they do it. Everything they say is an alternative fact. You got to be able to do it. But that's why they don't want you to be able to mm. think. They don't yeah. want you to think. They don't want you to do that at all. That's the, that's the, they fear anybody that thinks. Mm. Cause they don't want you to think; they want you to just do. <laughs> yeah, and blacks are emotional people. They want you to do. Like I said, worst thing we ever. I feel somebody should have been back there and said, "Man, Martin Luther King, I don't think this shit is a good idea." Well, you know what? He also said in the end, man, he had to change because he saw the burning house. Be careful what you ask them, white folks. They are what they call pure evil. Mm. Pure evil. Anytime you can say, well, I want y'all to get these four horse carriages and grab all these motherfucking limbs and everybody go in a different direction. There gotta be some evil motherfuckers to think some shit like that, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they have they got this country like they want it. And it's been like that since the Civil War. It's the mm -hmm. reason for the Civil War. A lot of people thought it was about slavery, but it wasn't. What did he say? He, Abraham Lincoln said. He Political said, expediency, I believe it was. He said, uh, I just want us to do it the way our forefathers taught us to do it. The way you do it, you have to house and feed it. The way we was taught do it, they have to house and feed they self. It's the difference between economic slavery and human slavery. That's the civil war. The motherfuckers say, hey man, they don't go to work, they ain't gonna have shit. You wanna beat them and not let them have shit. We ain't, you're not benefiting that way. We need them to do the way our forefathers taught us. They don't go to work. They ain't even gonna have shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. the, the, and you know who the forefathers were? The British. Yeah, yeah. All right, Troy. Well, yeah, this is uh, part five, I think. But yeah. Well, we got five thousand parts of this. <laughs> oh shit! Man. Yeah. This is just man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause, yeah. Yeah. Because we in bad shape. Yeah. They need somebody like me to go and tell them, nigga. Y'all already got your forty acres in the mule. Mm. Yeah. I, I wrote a list down one time. On all the shit the white folks done did to me, and all the shit niggas done did to me. Mm. Yeah, white folks got that slavery and all that other shit, but the niggas list was way longer. <laughs> okay. mm.
<laughs> then mm. broke my eyes, stole my bed, so yeah. 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 Let that shit go. Yeah, they fucked over us, but we're just gonna keep on crying about it. Mm. No, you gotta keep living. You gotta keep living. Healthy living, too. Troy, thank you. You're welcome.